Welcome. Yeah, so in this video, we're going to quickly come up with a formula for the Laplace transform of cosine of um, AT plus B, where A and B are constants. So to start, we need to uh, work on cosine of AT plus B using the cosine angle addition formula, which goes like this here, yeah? Okay, cool. And so we see that AT is alpha, right? And then uh, B is beta, right? Okay, cool. And so then the Laplace transform for cosine of uh, AT plus B is going to equal using uh, this right hand side to replace what we have here is going to be equal to the Laplace transform of well uh, cosine of alpha is going to be cosine of AT right uh, I should uh, slow down a little bit and then uh, cosine beta is going to be uh, just cosine of B right okay I'll color code it for you how about that <laughs> okay and then um, like let's do the rest of it a bit uh, quicker right Okay, cool. Now, from here, uh, we reckon that the Laplace transform is a linear operator. What that means is, like, it's just like the integral. It is an integral, right? Which is that, like, uh, the sum of the integrals is the integral of the sum, and we can put a constant in front. And notice that cosine b and uh, sine b are constants. Yeah, because the Laplace transform is a linear operator. From what I just said, we could take out the constant in the first part and do Laplace transform of just cosine at and then uh, we do minus and take out the constant from the second guy and uh, do the Laplace transform of sine of at and so I've used uh, both properties of the linear operator which is taking out a constant and then splitting it over a sum or difference yeah okay okay now I have videos dedicated to showing you how to do the Laplace transform of cosine at and the Laplace transform of sine at and um, yeah so I'm not gonna show you how to do that here you can watch those videos but yeah Laplace transform of cosine at is going to be s divided by s squared plus a squared and for sine at it's going to be um, a divided by s squared plus a squared yeah and so uh, taking note of that and uh, substituting the appropriate uh, Laplace transforms of cosine at which I just wrote and then um, the Laplace transform for sine at which I just now wrote uh, all we have left to do is um, combine things, right? Which is uh, basically like combine the numerators because the denominators are already the same. Yeah? Okay, cool. So this here is the final result. Yeah? All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Keep watching. Take care.